World 0748 the 15th of November 2017 updated 0809 the 15th of November 2017 get shorter Al Yemen Sana International Airport still can be used to receive UN humanitarian flights following a recent airstrike by the Sadild coalition however the coalition should provide relevant security guarantees Stefan Duherrick the UN Secretary General spokesman said United Nations Sputnik, the Civil Aviation Department of Yemen said on Tuesday that the Sadild Arab Coalition fighting rebels in Yemen inflicted an airstrike on the Sana'a International Airport, which resulted in the destruction of its navigation system. We're very concerned about the attacks on the airstrikes on Sana'a Airport. What my colleagues are telling me, from having visited the airport early today, is that the runway is not damaged. The taxiway, the ramp and the terminal were not hit, and they're in good condition. Humanitarian flights could still come in and out using a visual approach. We just now need the guarantees from the coalition that the airport can be used, Du Herrick said at a briefing on Tuesday. The VOR DME radio navigation system allows you to establish the position of an aircraft in the air and its distance from the ground station. According to the department, the coalition deliberately conducted the airstrike to suspend the only flights currently serviced by the airport, flights by the United Nations and other international humanitarian organizations. The situation in Yemen has been extremely unstable since 2015 when a civil war broke out. The war is being waged between the internationally recognized government of President Abd Rabba Mansur Hadi and the Houthi movement backed by army units loyal to former President Ali Abdullah Saleh. In March 2015, the Sadild coalition of mostly Persian Gulf countries launched airstrikes against the Houthis at Hadi's request. Last week, the Sadild coalition said it was closing Yemen's ground, air and sea ports after a ballistic missile was fired over the Saudi capital from Yemen. The humanitarian organizations of the United Nations have expressed their concerns about the blockade of Yemen, saying that it could lead to a significant deterioration in the health and food situation in the country. On Tuesday, the United Nations called on Saudi Arabia to why open the ports of Yemen to deliver humanitarian aid to the country.